Alright, um, before I get into the video, I'm just gonna address that. I'm going to address that my voice is not gonna be the best right now, just cause I didn't talk all day. So my voice isn't warmed up. But anyways, um, cross-platform games. Um, there's a lot of them. You know, like Fortnite, COD Mobile, Paladins, Apex Legends, etc. and stuff like that. What is it? Um, now, <clears throat> when you hear cross-platform games, you think it's like, the best thing, because now you can play with your friends on mobile, maybe Xbox, P PS4, PC, whatever other platform there is out there. Um, but most people don't notice that they're actually really unfair if you're not playing with friends. That probably doesn't make sense, but you will probably understand what I mean later. Um, first of all, just think that, like, you're playing on PC and the other people are playing against, I'm, the other people that are playing against you are on PS4. So, in this case, we can think of something like Apex, uh, Apex Legends. So, a controller versus a mouse. Now, if you are a true gamer, you'll understand, um, how unfair this is, but if you don't play games as much, I'll explain it to you. So, um, uh, with a controller, sensitivity is hard, especially finding something that's comfortable with aiming and, like, precision, especially if you're a sniper or, or something like that, or if you prefer to just go in with an SMG or something, or an AR, whatever. Um, not SMG, <laughs> but with an enemy moving all the time, it's hard to find a comfortable sensitivity because obviously if you're using a controller when you aim down um a sight on your gun it's going to slow down the sensitivity of your joystick sensitivity i said sensitivity a lot of, a lot of times in that sense but it also balances out because then you can't have just a really fast sensitivity just because it's going to help you with aiming because if you're going to be looking around in-game, you know, using the actual joystick to, like, look around and, you know, take in your environment, then it's going to be really painful because you're just going to be darting, darting your vision everywhere, and it's going to be really uncontrollable, but it'll only be good when you're aiming. Now, that's unfair, right? But, um, with a mouse, it's a lot easier. Um, the mouse has, like, a better range of comfort and sensitivity, and you can just glide along the mouse pad with ease. And, also, there's this thing called mouse acceleration. Sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's bad. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but I also wouldn't, would recommend it. I don't know if that made sense. But, I don't know, whatever. But, um, yeah. So, like, overall, playing with a mouse is better. Uh, hopefully I explained that okay. Um, but let's get into mobile now. Now, when I say mobile going against PS4 and PC players and, and Xbox, I don't know, all the platforms, I think you can already tell how unfair this is going to be. But, um, whatever. So, on mobile, you might have a smaller screen. It depends on what phone you have. If you have an iPhone 11 or something like that, then... Your screen would be pretty average, but if you have, like, an iPhone SE, or iPhone 11, what is it called? iPhone 11 tiny? <laughs> iPhone 11 small? I forgot what it was called. iPhone 11 mini. Bro, why can I not think of that? But, um, yeah. So, there's a disadvantage to you if you have... Okay, let's just say that your hands are an average size. So, like, if your hands are an average or normal size, think of you holding, like, an iPhone 12, which is one of that, which is one of the bigger phones that I know of. Think of you as holding an iPhone 12, and then, you know, it'd be a lot easier because you have a lot more room for your thumbs to go. But then also think of it if you have an iPhone 11. Um, you might not have as much room, but it'll be comfortable. And now think of having, like, an iPhone mini. It would be really hard because your thumbs would be already covering the corners of the screen, so it 
be a lot, and especially speaking that if you want to use, you know, stun grenades, frags, stuff like that, it's going to be a lot harder because then you have to do that while simultaneously doing other things. Um, you might also be playing on a tablet. Now, if you're playing on a tablet, you're also at a disadvantage because you're most likely going to be playing with, like, your, with your index and middle fingers. Because who uses their thumbs on a tablet? Like, bro. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, it's also more, it's also uncomfortable. Just cause, like, you know, maybe the layout, cause sometimes for certain games, it's not, you can't really change the layout of many things. And that's the downside of mobile, just cause there's less custom, less customization to it. But, um, yeah, for mobile, Against PC players and PS4, I think you already get the memo. But um, like yeah, if you want to build in Fortnite and you're on mobile, you are not going to be able to do very insane builds just because. First of all, your thumb you have to be using two thumbs. One of your your left thumb, most likely your left thumb is gonna be. Well, yeah, obviously your left thumb. Bro, okay. Well, no, whatever. Whatever, just whatever thumb that you're using to move, um, you're gonna be using that thumb. You have to keep moving, and then you have to use your other thumb to move around and look around on the screen. And it's, and then it just like limits you because then you can't get in your freaking index fingers or anything. So like, you'd have to press the builds that you want to build and then actually build them. And like, it takes takes one click to press to select the build that you want, and then it takes another click to to um build the build that you build selected bro I'm okay <laughs> but yeah and then like it's probably take at least a minute to build a staircase going in a 90 angle and a 90 degree angle um just cuz you know you have to keep moving around and stuff and then your thumbs have to go everywhere like if you can do that with ease especially you impress me a lot. Okay, I will I will let that be known. But like for example, for, for Fortnite PC players, which is usually the main platform for Fortnite, um, it's a lot easier just because they can adjust their keybinds and stuff to the comfort that they to like to like their comfort. So like maybe instead of using instead of using the number row to press to select builds they can use one of the um keys on the keyboard like f or something or maybe c maybe z x c b b and stuff like that i only named those specific keys just because i feel like no one really uses there's no really um keybind that's set for these kind of f set for this specific row of keys like by default but um yeah, and then you can also rotate with your mouse, and you can just left click to build and stuff, you know, do some edits. Ed editing is a lot easier on PC, too. I don't know, I'm not a big Fortnite fan, but, um, yeah, I hope you understand. Um, also for console players, it's hard, but it's not as hard as it is on mobile, just because... Um, you can use the, uh, triggers. The triggers and the, what are the other ones called? I don't know, the buttons in front of the triggers, the buttons that come up before the triggers. Those, you can use those to build and stuff, and it's a lot, um, easier. And, I don't know, it's just a lot easier, that's it. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I mentioned before, there is a worry, not a worry, what? There is a problem with, the sensitivity. Um, I mentioned this before earlier in the video. Literally, it's the first thing I said in the beginning. But yeah, you know, smaller range of sensitivity, and you probably won't feel comfortable with a certain type of sensitivity. Um, now to wrap up this video that was quite short. Um, um, there are softwares 
that do allow you to, you know, to change, not to change, what am I saying? To allow you to play against mobile players, but you're on PC. There's many things like that. Um, and usually those softwares are a little cheat sheet to be getting games free to play on mobile. Obviously the graphics won't be the best, but, um, uh, I'll, if you really like to save money and you want to play some games with your friends, uh, get this software. It's called Game Loop. You can also get another one called Bluestacks. You've probably heard of it before, right? Because people playing among us. But if you want to play different games that, like, actually look nice, just go to Steam Unlocked. Just download it on PC. It's, it's not that hard. Just go to steamunlocked.net. It looks like a virus. It's not, I promise. But, um, anyways. <laughs> but, um, PC versus mobile players and console, I think it should be made a little bit more fair. Um, I mean, like, I mean, like, I feel like it can't get that fair just because, you know, there's nothing you can do. There's really nothing you can do about it, but, I mean, if you do want to have, like, a fun and actually fair game against other people that are playing, like, against, that are playing, like, on mobile or PC, then I think there should be, there's probably this, there's probably a line of code that detects if, a person is on PC or like on mobile and like they're playing a PC. What? No, no, no. Like, there should be a line of code where it detects like a PC player playing a mobile game and then they're, it's gonna be like, hey, that's not allowed. So then it kicks them. But either way, if there is a line of code that exists like that, then it wouldn't matter because people are still going to find ways to get like. To get into mobile games and, you know, crap on everyone. But, yeah. That was the problem with cross-platform games. Um, this is more of a rant video, kinda. Rather than something that has facts. I mean, it did have a few facts in it, but I think mainly. Mainly this video was just, you know, a little rant for me to me to let out, but, yeah. My mom just said something. <laughs> um. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh. I know this is different from other content I've done. But, uh, yeah. I'm tired. Just got off my, uh, class. I'm wondering now. Um. I was planning to play cross-platform games. For this video, but I didn't get the time to record stuff, and the only time I was able to record something was when I was playing a COD Cold War Outbreak, which you can see right now on the screen. Um, so yeah. Also, please read the description. Please check the links in the description. It'd be a big help. Be big help um to me if you checked out those links and stuff. So yeah, bye.